guys welcome back okay so today I decided I wanted to go ahead and check out this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation I thought it was really neat and wanted to check it out so I decided to go ahead and do a full face of Fenty Beauty so let's go ahead and jump right in so of course I'm starting out with a serum and a moisturizer so for my serum today, I'm using the Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. I love this stuff. It is so hydrating, very, very nice. I'm also going in with my Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. This is a really, really nice moisturizer, you guys. It really adds just that full feeling of hydration and moisture to your skin. I like it a lot. So I'm going in with my usual for my brows. Nobody has time for that, so here we go. <laughs> so this is the star of the show. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I did choose the shade 400. It comes in this cute little compact, very, very nice. It shows the shade on the back. I really like how it feels. This is the shade that I chose. There is a mirror inside of the compact. When you lift up the powder, it does also include a little foam applicator that you can use to apply it. I will not be using that today. <laughs> okay, so before we get started with this look, I'm going in with a primer. So I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. I've never used this one before, the Soft Matte. So I'm going in, checking this out, seeing if I like it, and it feels really nice. I wasn't sure if it was going to dry my face out, but I think I'm nicely moisturized and ready to go. So for these dark circles and discoloration around my mouth, I'm going in with my NYX HD Concealer. I do use the shade CW07.5, I believe. And so it really works out nicely to help with my dark circles, discoloration around my face. So just trying to help this foundation out <laughs> a little bit. So I'm going in to brighten with my Fenty Beauty Concealer. This one is the shade 390. So it's a bit lighter than my skin tone just to add a little bit of brightening under my eyes and to kind of cancel out the darkness on my lid as well. And I'm just using a damp sponge to blend that out. Now to set that, I'm going in with my Fenty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Honey. This powder is not my favorite, so I'm just going in very lightly with my sponge to set all of those concealed areas. I mean, it's working okay today, but yeah, it's not my favorite. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I decided to use my flat top foundation brush. This one is nice. It's a little bit dense, but not too, too hard. So I'm just kind of testing the waters right now, tapping some on to see what the coverage is like. And I actually really like it. <clears throat> when I first started in, I noticed that I was able to build it up very easily. I could go in with just a little bit and you know just kind of take my time building it up with that brush it worked out really really nicely and i could easily see it building up and giving me nice coverage also i was very happy to see that 400 looks like a really good color match for me so this is what it looks like with and without the foundation yeah it's looking really nice to me i feel like i picked a good shade and i can definitely see the coverage so now I'm just going in and, you know, completing the rest of my face, gently tapping the foundation all over. Um, I definitely feel like applying it with a brush is the easiest for me because I think with the sponge applicator, I probably would have put on a bit too much using, you know, the sponge. So the brush definitely gives you a nice amount of control. As you can see, I'm definitely feeling this foundation, feeling the coverage, feeling the shade match, and super happy that I don't have to take it back and exchange it for another shade, okay? So to go ahead and kind of warm up my cheeks, I'm going in with the Coco Naughty Bronzer. This bronzer has never been dark enough for me, in my opinion. I mean, it adds a little bit of warmth, a slight amount of warmth, but 
I do feel like I need a darker shade just to kind of bronze me up the way I like to be bronzed. But as you can see, it's not bad. You can see it a little bit. It works out nicely enough. Now I'm going in with one of my cream blushes from Fenty. This one is in the shade Daiquiri Dip. I love her cream blushes because I can just grab my sponge and just tap it on my cheeks. And the fact that I can use this cream blush on top of this powder foundation is really, really nice. It didn't move the foundation, it didn't disrupt anything, so I was really, really happy about that. And as you can see, I love blush, so yes, I am going ham. <laughs> and this daiquiri dip is very bold. So for highlighter, I'm going into my, I think that is the Ginger Binge side that I'm using for highlighter. This is one of the Kilowatt highlighters. Very, very pretty, very smooth and it's working out nicely with this powder foundation as well. Now for my lips, I decided to go in with one of my Fenty, what is this, a Stunna Lip Paint? This one is in the shade Underdog, and I'm topping that off with one of the new, you know, Gloss Bond Creams, and this one is in the shade Fruit Snatch. <laughs> I like saying Fruit Snatch. <laughs> So let's go ahead and do a quick little eye look with the Moroccan Spice. I never use this palette because it's just like, I don't know, it's not my stilo. I don't really care for the shadows in here, but yeah, I decided to go ahead and do a quick little eye look since I'm doing a fenty face. So I just kind of warmed up my crease, deepened my inner and outer corners, and I also decided to pull out the Kilowatt Foil highlighter palette because this is really really nice to use for pops of color on your lid so decided to go ahead and go with the blue of course y'all know me <laughs> so i'm just actually tapping that blue you know just kind of like all over my lid but focusing it in the center of my lid mainly just tapping that on no muss no fuss decided to go ahead and use that pretty gold shade in my inner corners though so i'm just using a pencil type brush to apply that and of course I did get blue eyeshadow all over my cheeks. <laughs> now I don't have a Fenty eyeliner, so I'm just going in with one from my collection on my lower lash line, as well as using my NYX liquid liner on, you know, my lash line on the upper portion of my lid. Y'all see, y'all get it. <laughs> Created a very small wing as well. Now the only mascara that I have from Fenty is this little sample one, so I went ahead and used that. Uh, don't really care for it. Yeah, I don't feel like it really did that much for my lashes. As you can see, I don't have much lashes anyway, but after using the mascara, it really didn't make that much of a difference. It's okay, but definitely not something I would purchase in the future. Now to set my face, I'm using the Farsali. This one is actually the Rose Gold Skin Mist. And so yeah, here we go. <laughs> Got some blue on to match my eyelids. And this is what this foundation is looking like. I must say I really like it, you guys. First impression, I will have to see, you know, how it holds up during the day. But yeah, first impression, I love everything about it. The finish, the, the coverage um, is very nice and lightweight. And I love the fact that I believe I picked the right shade for myself. So yeah, I really like it. First impression, you guys. I have no complaints so far. I'll definitely keep you posted. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!